Today, we will talk about joint liability. Joint liability refers to the obligation of two or more partners to pay back a debt or be responsible for satisfying a liability. This means that if one partner is unable to fulfill their obligations, the other partners are still legally responsible for the debt or liability. In simple terms, it's when two or more people are held accountable for the same thing. Joint liability typically occurs when two or more parties apply jointly for credit or enter into a general partnership. When one partner in a general partnership enters into a contract, it automatically binds all partners to that contract, making them all responsible for it. This means all partners need to be aware that they are liable for the actions of every other partner within the partnership. For example, when spouses both sign for a loan, they both become liable for the balance of the loan as co-signers, even if one spouse should die. However, if the borrower defaults, the other spouse is still responsible for the full amount of the loan. Several liability, or proportionate liability, differs from joint liability in that all parties are only liable for their own respective obligations. In a business partnership scenario, each partner is responsible for their own share of the debt, and if one partner fails to meet their obligation, the lender can only sue that one partner for their share. When partners have joint and several liability for a debt, a creditor can sue any of the partners for repayment. If one partner pays the debt, then that partner may pursue other partners to collect their share of the debt obligation. This means that it is the responsibility of all partners to sort out and reconcile their separate shares of liability and payments. Here are four key takeaways. 1. Joint liability means that more than one party is responsible legally for paying back a debt or otherwise covering a liability. 2. Joint liability results from two or more parties applying together for credit, often in a general partnership. 3. If any of the parties in the general partnership enter into a contract, then all of the parties are responsible. 4. When there's a joint liability agreement, a creditor can sue any partner, most typically, they sue the one who is perceived as being the most financially solvent. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.